You can't look and see that I quit going to parties all the time. It's been a long time coming. Now, if you can't change the way you look at me, I may as well surrender now. And yet the current Broadway run of August Wilson's Jitney may be right on time. The past is over and done with. I'm thinking about the future. Jitney is the last of Wilson's 10-play century cycle to make it to Broadway. But it was the first one he wrote. The play's director, Ruben Santiago Hudson, says he worked more than 10 years to get Jitney to Broadway. He's also a veteran actor who won a Tony performing in Wilson's Seven Guitars. It was very difficult, and, and 11 years of no's led to one yes, and that's all I needed was one yes to bring you this Jitney. This body of work about the African-American experience in each decade of the 20th century earned Wilson Pulitzer Prizes and a Tony Award. He's also counted among the great American playwrights like Eugene O'Neill and Tennessee Williams. Wilson died in 2005. They're going to tear this building down. They're going to board it up first of the month. We're going to have to move. We either that or split up. We can't stay here no more. Jitney is set in a 1970s unlicensed cab company in Pittsburgh's Gritty Hill District. A bulldozer's coming to crush livelihoods and spirits. True to the cycle, Jitney is shaped by young people angst over systemic disrespect, by old people despair over dreams deferred. So what you gonna do with the rest of your life now that you done ruined it? Don't you eat every day? Answer me when I talk to you. Don't you eat every day? Yeah. As long as you in my house, you put a sir on the end of it when you talk to me. No doubt the Oscar buzz for the film version of Fences has attracted a new audience for Wilson's Century Cycle. But to Wilson loyalists, and in particular actors who bring his characters to life, the connection is much deeper and challenging. And these are characters, I think, that have not been seen other than through August Wilson's plays right. on the American stage exactly. or anywhere else. So he kind of gave life to these characters which you feel were unseen or unheard or invisible and were living somewhat on the margins uh, of society. They have been made invisible um, and we haven't given enough voice or attention to, to their deep concerns, that these people have value, they have worth, they, they have a humanity that must be respected. Themes that seem to resonate in 2017 with the diverse audiences at the Samuel Friedman Theater. But I'm through making excuses for anybody, including myself. I ain't gonna pass it on. David Ushery, News for New York.